Hi, this is Marita Alsanek and founder of Immigration Biz. And in this video, I just want to very quickly talk about um, the option if you uh, if you already have approved E2 visa in the US and you want to travel. Now, even if you have approved visa in the US, and um, that means that you have you have done the change of status option. For example, you came to the US on B visa and you decided to stay by changing and applying for different visa. For example, in this case, E2, investor visa. Now, the moment you get approved um, your status, it doesn't mean, and you have received a notice of action, notice of approval from USCIS, it doesn't mean that you got a valid visa in your passport. And that means that you still need to go back home and apply at the U.S. Embassy to get the stamp into your passport. And that stamp is usually given for either two or five years, depends on the country where you're coming from, and depends on the treaty between your country and United States. Once you have the passport stamp, visa stamp, you can travel. You can travel back and forth and there are no limitations. So this very dis important distinction, if you are considering to apply for change of status within the US or in your home country, because if you apply for change of status and you receive approval, then at some point you still need to go uh, to your home country and apply at the US Embassy. And I'm going to do a next video uh, where I'm going to talk about what to bring with you. And so you can check it out and it's called E2 Visa Checklist. And this checklist goes to US Embassy with you. And if you have any questions, please leave them below or you can email us at office at immigrationbeast.com or you can download free ebook how to get E2 at immigrationbeast.com. Thank you so much for watching.